This is a Polaroid one step. The power is here. Ooh, that's very powerful. Who wants to do selfies anyway? All right, let's see how this turns out. All right, so clearly I'm talking about a camera today. I'm talking about one of these good old fashioned old school Polaroid cameras. This is a Polaroid one step. I don't know if you can see that, but it uses the 600 film. Classic Polaroid camera look. This is the first Polaroid camera that I've ever had. Been thrifting with my sweetheart for four years now. I've seen so many of these cameras. I don't know why I never picked one up. I got this one for $4, $3.99, but $4. And you know, so far it's been a little bit frustrating, but pretty cool. I always wanted one of these magic cameras. Whenever I think of Polaroid, I'm reminded of that scene from George of the Jungle where the bad guy, he's like, hello, I bring you gifts. Click, magic picture. And then the dude who uh, lives there, he's like speaking in his native tongue. And then the bad guy's like, <clears throat> Translation, please. And then the dude translating is like, he says he likes your magic picture, but he prefers the resolution of the 35 millimeter film camera. All is one of my favorite scenes from that movie. But yeah, so now I have one myself. And you know what? Expectations versus reality. This is not a cheap camera to shoot. This stuff right here, the film that it shoots, this costs almost $40 because a single pack of this is $18 in a $4 camera. So it's not the cheapest camera to shoot, but it is fun to shoot, you know? It's a really basic camera. It's literally point and shoot. You do have some settings here. You can adjust the focus here. You want to be closer up. You want to be further away. If you want to make it darker, move it to the right. You want to make it lighter, move it to the left. And that's pretty much it. The flash is automatic, so you open it up. This light turns on when the flash is ready to go. It's got a viewfinder right here. But yeah, it's a really basic camera. To load the film, you open this guy up. I'm not gonna do that right now. I don't wanna expose the film. I don't know if that would expose the film. It's got a film counter back here. But the thing is, original Polaroid 600 film came in a pack of 10 shots. Whereas this modern iteration, eight shots. Whenever you shoot this camera, it still counts down from 10. You're never gonna hit zero shooting this camera as long as you're shooting one of these modern film packs. Let's see, so like I said, it's got the flash, and the flash always turns on when the camera is turned on. But sometimes flash looks like crap. You can actually shoot this with or without the flash. It's got two buttons. It's got this button up here, and it's got this button down here. If you want to shoot with flash, you always use this front button. If you just want to actuate the shutter and shoot without flash, you only press this button. So check it out. No flash. To say that getting into this camera has been somewhat frustrating, understatement Just check it out here are my first few shots on this like point and shoot camera i figured point shoot picture turns out well polaroid isn't exactly known for the greatest image quality this is one of my first shots picture of uh, our chevy volt super super soft focus and i had it set to the macro mode i was too close this is supposed to be my kitty cat hyena cat just looks it doesn't look good and then today when i went out to go shoot in uh downtown i turned the camera sideways which doesn't make any sense because it's a square picture i did this i don't know if it's a light leak i mean you know the camera is used it is old so needless to say especially considering the price of the film it's been kind of frustrating that being said i think i'm starting to get the hang of it it's just a shot in the backyard much 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 sharper this evening it's much 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 sharper this afternoon same deal of course i got to do my car photography but you know doesn't look too bad i mean it actually looks pretty good and you know, it's got that vintage Polaroid look. And here's another one of the car. I don't know what happened here. This was the last shot of my first first cartridge of this uh, new film. So the bottom of it has this dealio going on. I have no clue what it is, but the picture itself actually turned out really nice. Prop it, but you know, it kind of gives character to, you know, that Polaroid character, right? And then this one was here in downtown Lodi. And yeah, it turned out really nice. And now let's take a look at what we got just the past few minutes. Ooh, ooh! I wasted another shot, that's for sure. Here's the shot that I took at the start of this video. This is the one without the flash. But yeah, you can choose to disable the flash on this camera. Uh, depending on your situation, don't necessarily recommend it. All these other shots here, all without the flash, so just gotta make sure you use it in the right scenario. But yeah, my first Polaroid camera. A bit frustrating, but it's got its charms. I'm enjoying it, mostly just for fun. The only thing is, they ain't gonna be doing any selfies because I'm pretty sure that's less than uh, two feet. You know what I mean? 
Yeah, no. Yeah, it, it, selfies ain't gonna work on here, but who wants to do selfies anyway? Four dollars at a thrift store. One pack of film costs four times as much as the camera. This is a novelty camera. This is for fun. So yeah, really happy to have gotten this. I just wish the film was a little bit cheaper. You know what? The novelty of the less than stellar but still good for what it is quality. And you know, it's the Polaroid format. It's got that white border and the more on the bottom. It's just nostalgic and it's, you know, it's got that charm to it. Polaroid. One step, 600 film, I'm enjoying it. If you're thinking about getting one, I'd say go for it. Just be ready to um, spend the money because the film is the film is expensive. Uh, they do make more modern versions of this that look similar I, from what I understand. Is it the i-series? Basically, so you have these Polaroid 600 cartridges and then there's another one. I want to say it's the i-series, something like that. So those are made more for the modern Polaroid cameras. And the deal with that is, so oh yeah, first off, when you're looking in a thrift store, you're not going to be able to really test the camera to see if it works, because if you press the buttons, nothing's going to happen. You open it up, that light's not going to light up. Why? There's no battery in these cameras. These Polaroid cameras have no power at all. The power is here. Ooh, that's very powerful. The power is in here. The battery for the Polaroid cameras is built right into the 600 film cartridges. You're only going to get power to the camera if you have a, a good 600 film inserted into the camera. If you get the i-series Polaroid film, there's no battery. So while the i-series film will fit physically into these older Polaroid 600 cameras, it's not going to power the camera, therefore you won't be able to use it. But the i-series cameras can take the Polaroid 600 film because those i-series cameras, what do you call it, they have their own battery pack in them. So if you're, if you're thinking about getting a Polaroid camera, just be aware of that. 600 film goes into the 600 camera or the i-series camera. i-series film only goes into the i-series cameras. But yeah, just be aware of that and you should be good. So yeah, that was hopefully a quick, and probably 10 minute video now, because this thing is just so cool. Polaroid One Step Vintage 600 film camera. Pretty cool, pretty nostalgic, pretty unique. I'm enjoying it. I'm just not enjoying paying for it, but yeah. Otherwise, overall, good deal. And with that, I'm gonna go shoot some more uh, pictures, so I will catch you all on the flip.